That is 2020 energy and we're leaving it. We're throwing it out the door. Crickets, crickets. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and thank you so much for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I wanted to bring the energy because I feel like my last few videos were very um, lackluster, if you will. And I wanted to sit down, make up lists, just fully like in my human body and talk to you guys and tell you six lessons that I have learned in 2020 that are going to help me level up the last second part of 2021 and future years to come. And I want all of you guys to know these lessons too because they're important and I utilize them in my daily life now. I have my handy dandy lovely notebook that I've scribbled a ton of notes on and first point is going to be what we eat and when we eat determines how we live our lives. Now this one when I learned this completely shook my world because in 2020 and future or in 2020 and previous years I did not pay attention to how I was eating, the frequency at which I was eating, and I've just learned how important that is, especially frequency. Eating eating enough throughout the day to give our body the energy it needs so we can live the life we want to live. Now, I like to think of it um, the way that Jessica Ash Wellness thinks of it, and she uses this car um, simile where she talks about how if you want to get into a car and go a long distance trip, you're not going to like try and do that with no gas in the tank. You have to make sure you're supplying yourself with the energy, the fuel you need to get yourself to go where you need to go. And so if we want to live a life where we feel happy and we feel majestic and creative, we need to eat. We need to make sure that we're eating enough and that we're eating well. Number two is movement doesn't have to be strenuous to be effective. Now, again, I am someone who has struggled with this in the past, and it has taken me quite a long time, quite a few years to realize that movement and moving your body does not have to be strenuous to be effective. We can do Pilates, we can do yoga, we can do stretching, we can even walk. And that is so good for your body. Any type of movement that you can do for yourself is going to benefit you in the long run. But it doesn't have to be weightlifting seven days a week or like flipping tires or something like that. So for example, I have my yoga mat out right over here because in the morning I want to start trying to do more yoga and Pilates and just stretching and moving in a way that feels really great for myself. I'm also trying to take into account my female hormonal cycle. I don't want to push myself during my menstrual cycle. I don't want to make myself feel like I can't take the rest that I need. And so I am going to be incorporating more movement in easier ways, like stretching, yoga, Pilates, walking, etc. Number three is the power of saying no, the power of no. This is something I am still very much learning and I hope in future years I know how to use this power a lot better. I tend to have a problem where I push myself to the limits and then when I am stressed and I haven't eaten well and I haven't taken care of myself, I tend to snap. I tend to get very frustrated with myself but then everyone around me because I have not taken time to rest and again that is not the way we're going to level up in the rest of 2021 or future years to come we're not going to do that anymore that is 2020 energy and we're leaving it we're throwing it out the door and we're not ever doing that again so it is very important that we need to learn to say no Number four, a budget will change the way you spend your money. I'm still learning this and still working on this. And I actually am going to be purchasing Patricia Bright's budget tool. It's like $3.99. I'm going to put the link below so you can check that out as well. And I think...
This is so important because again, so many of us have goals, have things that we're passionate about that we wanna do, have creative outlets that we want to start, but we don't have the money or we don't have the means to do these things that we wanna do. I really took 2020 to put my life in a financial uh, bubble and figure out where I could save money and where the best places to put my money were. So for example, in 2020, my husband and I both had a car payment. We have since paid both of those cars off and I'm really trying to put investments in ourselves. So yes, there are still things that we spend our money on, but we budget and we understand what is important. Number five, goals are meant to be realistic and attainable. And this is because so many of us, myself included in the past, set goals that were way out of reach or too big. And when a goal seems too big or too out of reach, it's very unlikely that I am personally will go after that goal. So I have to make tiny baby steps of goals to accomplish so that when I get to that point, I can set a new goal. Whether your goal is to make X amount of dollars or to build a channel with X amount of subscribers or to um, start a business by X date, your goal has to be obtainable so you can actually make, make and take steps to reach that goal. And don't forget the power of a notebook, guys, the power of a notebook, the power of writing down what you want to achieve, especially in a place that you're going to see it every day. And last but not least, number six, I am the only person who will hold myself accountable. And this one is super important and I wanted to leave you guys with this one because I wanted to give you a little inspirational pep talk. I started this YouTube channel almost 10 years ago, but I started this channel posting covers. And if I would have continued with this channel, I, I mean, I can't even imagine the places it would be today, but it took me so much time to build the confidence, to build the accountability, to really figure out what I was passionate about. So things I'm doing to hold myself accountable are I've taken breaks on social media. I'm currently actually still off social media. I haven't been on Instagram or anything like that in two weeks. And I can't even explain to you how beneficial this has been for me. I realize now that whether I do the work or I don't, a year is still going to pass. So what am I going to do in that year that is going to benefit me solely for myself? Because at the end of the day, I am all I have. If I am not going to reach my goals, who is gonna reach them for me? Crickets, crickets. So let's do it ladies and gentlemen, like let's make 2021 and the future years to come the best of our life yet. There is no time to waste. We only live once, there is only one you, you're only going to hold yourself accountable. So that's what I wanted to leave you with today. And thank you so much for watching. I know I rambled on quite a bit in this video, but I just feel so passionate about these things and these lessons that I've learned. And I want all of you to understand that they are super important. Take these with you as you coast through the rest of 2021 and future years. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I am going to be posting new videos every week. I'll be posting a video every Saturday and I may have some other videos um, sprinkled here and there as well. If you liked it, once again, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.